Today, we head to Devon to watch Charlton Town take on league leaders Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth are a great side with a fantastic fan base and it is a sellout today, so every credit to their fans once again. I praise them in every video, but once again, I'll take my hat off to you. They sit top of the league, undefeated in seven league fixtures, with their most recent result being a 1-1 draw away at Ipswich, with a 93rd minute equaliser from young star Bally Mumba, causing absolute scenes in that sold out away end. We go into this game sat 18th in League One, with five losses in our last six games. Performances are starting to pick up, but it's vital that we start getting points on the board. And with the addition of young defender Alcon Baggett into the squad for the second half of this season on loan from Ipswich, hopefully he can bring the extra bit of strength to that back line and hopefully bring a bit going forward as well. It'd be very difficult to see us get a result today against the unbelievably strong Plymouth Argyle side who do have some familiar faces in Finn Azaz and Callum Wright who will definitely get a good reception from our fans. They were both unbelievable for us. My original score prediction was a lot more positive, but now I've slept on it. I'm going to say a 2-0 loss. Plymouth Argyle, they're just way too strong. They're top of the league for a reason. And it's almost destined that one of the ex Chantham boys gets a goal today. It's just our luck. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. And if you do go on to enjoy today's matchday vlog, please do smash like and subscribe. It'd be massively appreciated. We are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by March. So if you could help us on the road to that, it would be massively, massively appreciated. Will Chantham be able to pull off a shock on the road today? Or will Plymouth Argyle just be too strong and prove why they are top of the league? Only time will tell. Let's head down to Devon and find out. The lineups are now out. Interesting one. Um, after all the the singing we've done of his name, after one of our fans bringing down an Indonesian flag, Alcan Baggett is out with illness. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't. Uh, you, honestly, you couldn't write it, could you? Jackson also out injured. Um, it's not the ideal team, but you've got you know you've got the usual suspects. Goodwin and May start up top again. The midfield looks okay. The the back line looks okay as well. Taylor Long etc. But Raglan also back from suspension. But it's just I I'm guided to not see Alpen Baggett to be honest. Uh, Plymouth, uh, Cannon Wright and Finners are starting. I mean it just had to be done that, but there we go. It's not ideal. It is what it is. Fingers crossed the lads can put out a performance. But yeah, let's go to kick off. Let's go, 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 let's go
off as well. What about his axe? Simple. Go. 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 Well, at half time, Plymouth 2, Charlton 1, Tommy's got a word to say. Thatcher's A's in the concourse, game changer. I've been down here since the 15th minute when we went 1 0 down. I can't lie, with that poo. Just keep us up somehow, please. Right, it's only 2 1, top of the league. Yeah, but I haven't seen the games, so I can't lie. And we have an upside down Poland flag. Come on! For, for a player who's out ill. So, uh, yeah, brought it all that way, but. Paul Swanson. I was in the concourse, I don't know. There you go. First goal of Fitzmaul. First goal of Fitzmaul. It is a concourse away day, I can't lie. We're, we're like near the bottom, they're at the top of the league. It is a concourse away day. P.S. Callum Wright, I love you. Um, yeah. Weird half of football, but I don't think we're playing well. We got lucky to get a goal, but we're hanging on in there. There's every chance that we can get back into this game. I can't see it happening. Let's go suck it off. <laughs>
Roy going around. It's nice to for today's match. They've got thank you very much for watching. Frustrating at the end. Um, you know, I think we... I, it, it, it's proving my point, really, because we didn't play terrible today. I think at times we were pretty poor, but it's the, the, the lack of midfield strength defensively. I think three of the goals came against the run of play, um, or, or somewhat at least, where the ball was down the other end of the pitch. Really frustrating, but that's football. But for me now, in these last you know, 10 or so days of the transfer window, we've got to be looking at a midfielder. I, 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 it, I've been saying it for months. It amazes me if we don't, but there we go. Fat mate, to Bournemouth, you show why you're top of the league. Callum Roy, class once again. Well done for coming over to the fans as well, Cal. Top man, top player. He'll go for it. And uh, Bournemouth, you're lucky to have him. Today, all your fans are top class, except for the lad who ran on the pitch. Uh, I mean, judging by the fact that the home fans booed, shows how good of a fan base Plum Fire Guy is. But yeah, there we go. It is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. Have a class today. I'll see you for Wednesday.